Want to see if there's any unicorns left in the wild? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today, we are going bourbon hunting once again. We are gonna stop at a couple of stores here in central western New Jersey. Um, if you can consider there a western New Jersey because of how skinny this state is. But nonetheless, we're gonna go see if there are any fun bottles, fun store picks along the lines. We're gonna stop at about three, maybe four stores, see if they got anything fun. We've got Winston with us today. He's coming for the ride. And uh, well, before we get into the fun stuff make sure you guys drop that like if you enjoy the content leave a comment down below on what bottle you would pick up in this video and if you're brand new smash that subscribe button because we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers and uh let's hope we can hit that by the end of 2024 but without further ado let's get on the road all right ladies and gentlemen we are at stop number one we are at bottle king here in east windsor new jersey this is the store that i won the thomas h handy at on that lottery so uh let's run inside and see uh they got anything else interesting on the shelves. Elijah Craig, A124, 119 proof, 10 year, 9 month. All right, ladies and gentlemen, stop number one is in the books. I couldn't play any of the audio really in there because their music was so, so loud. So hopefully my music um, sounds good to you guys, but I did pick up one bottle. You guys most likely know what bottle that is, but at the end of the video, we'll do a little haul to see uh, what bottles I did end up acquiring throughout this uh, little bourbon hunting video. And uh, if there was anything on that shelf there, let me know on the comments which ones you would have picked up. The Jack Daniels McLaren bottle, it's like 44, 45 bucks. Really nice looking bo box. Uh, I didn't really want to open it up because I'm not quite sure what that bottle even looks like. Um, but I know a lot of Jack Daniels fans out there. Uh, you guys know uh, I have this love-hate relationship with Jack Daniels. Um, but uh, anybody in the uh, Central Jersey area looking for that bottle, right here, East Windsor. Let's go on to stop number two. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at stop number two. We are at Joe Canal's Discount Liquor Store here in Lawrenceville, New Jersey. This Joe Canales has a very, very big selection of bourbons and store picks. And uh, let's go run inside and see what they have to offer. Garrison Bros. Honeydew. 79 bucks. A couple of dollars more than a bottle king. Not bad though. Some lucky sevens. Mary Dowling. Here we go. Some rise. Big boy Willets over here. We got it back again. They own 24. A couple dollars cheaper, not too bad though. Get the Larceny J124, 124 proof. That's nice. It's about a ride, not barrel proof though, unfortunately. Little Forester's here. Little Forester Bell Strength. Coming in hundred and thirty point two proof. Warehouse K for seven. Pretty sure it's probably a good one because it's a little bit higher in that warehouse. Smoke wagons here. You got the younger. Uh, smoke wagon, straight ride, private barrel, whiskey fairy, six year old, 57.4%, 51% rye, 45 corn, four malted barley. Not too bad there. And we've got a Yellowstone pick, 119 proof. Russell single barrel, 55 bucks, not bad. They do have a Wilderness Trail single barrel, 111.6 proof, four years, seven months. Not as good as my pick though. Evans Door single barrel here, 122 proof, 53 bucks, not bad. The Evans Door Revive. Some more high west cast strength single barrels here, 65 bucks. 
lots of highways. This is an interesting looking bottle. Is it Hemingway? Hemingway Rye, 95% rye, under two proof. Some four roses here. Got Remus Gadsby, Widow Jane, Balsog. Lots of very old to neck. One more Garrison Bros. Rare Perfection. Frank August. I know a lot of you guys like that stuff. This right here is the Angels Envy Trilogy. You get three bottles for 100 bucks. Not bad. Got a Wild Turkey Voyage. 300. Looks for a single bow. 80. Another Baker's here coming seven year, ten month. Blade and Bow. Bib and Tucker. All your barrels. Well, there's 35 here for you. I think good old Winnie here is good luck for these bourbon hunting trips and we're going to have to bring him along the ride for every single one that I do because we are two for two for stores and he's just falling asleep on the ride here and I wish I had his life. But we just finished up at store number two which was Joe Canals in uh, Lawrenceville, New Jersey I believe is the exact location that this one is. Um, but we did get another bottle so we are uh, bottle per store at the moment. And uh, we're going to make it to maybe one, possibly two more stores. Not quite sure, but uh, let's go see what these next stores have to offer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at stop number three for the day. This is Bottle Republic Wine, Spirits, and Beer Warehouse. And goodness gracious, we're, we're, I think we're in Princeton right now at, at the moment. Not quite sure exactly, um, but... Let's go around the side. Sometimes this store is a museum piece. Sometimes it's not. Not quite sure. So let's go around inside, see what they've got to offer. I haven't seen this bottle in a long time. Rose cask. What is this? The Bartender's Reserve. Not the worst price I've ever seen on a Thursday. Not too bad. Check Daniel's body of the line. Pretty in. Guys, here we are. If you're looking for anything specific, they got some museum pieces here. A little Wild Turkey Voyage. Awful proof. Got Daniel's 12 year and the 10 year. And over here, we got some George T stuff. Van Winkle, Wappy. A little high on those prices, but hey, you know what? Shanks 2023. Two hundred, and they got the Nectar's Rye, three fifty. Get a little steep on that, but you know, what a good proof. One of my favorites right here, a little over one hundred fourteen.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was stop number three, Bottle Republic. As you can see, they had a little bit of a museum piece going on in that little glass cabinet there. But hey, was not the worst prices I have ever seen on some allocated bottles, but they were a little steep. If you got the pockets for it, by all means, go on over there, snag a bottle if you want it. Um, but nonetheless, we did find a bottle in that lineup that was not in the glass case that uh i needed a backup of because we uh i think we actually used our last pour of that bottle the other day um right before we got sick but we picked it up we uh got a brand new bottle of that we got three bottles let's go home and let's see what we got all right ladies and gentlemen we are back here at the bourbon room and uh, i bet you guys are dying to know what bottles i picked up while we were out bourbon hunting but before we do like i said make sure you drop that like leave a comment down below on whatever bottle you would have picked up at any one of those stores and uh, if you're brand new, smash that subscribe button because we are on the road to 20,000 subscribers and I want you guys to be along with it. But let's get into bottle number one that we picked up. So the first bottle I'm going to show you is the third bottle we picked up. We got another bottle of the Old Overholt 114. Now this was $34. Um, absolutely banger, banger, uh, mixing pour in my opinion. I think it's a little bit better than the old Grandad 114 in my personal opinion. I think that this is really, really good. Four year old, 114 proof rye whiskey and makes a banger of an old fashioned, really, really good bottle right there. And, uh, we might be having another old overhaul, uh, coming in the mail here soon, but that's for another day. But Second bottle we picked up was actually the second bottle, and we got our hands on the Larceny Batch A124, the first release of 2024. This one's coming in at 124.2 proof, and uh, absolutely, absolutely love Larceny Barrel Proofs. I did not get the B or the C batch of last year. Could not find them, but hey, sitting on the shelf, I think this was like 65 bucks. Had to pick it up, and that's why I got it, because I wanted to do a review of this bottle for you guys. And uh, going off of our first pick of the day, which is going to be bottle number three I'm showing you, is going to be the Elijah Craig Batch A124 Coming in at 119 proof, one of the lowest Elijah Craig barrel proofs, and it is the lowest age stated uh, barrel proof from Elijah Craig yet, coming in at 10 years, 9 months. So what we're going to be doing, just like I did last year for the A batches, is we're going to compare these two in a, uh, not a blind, but a head-to-head -head review to see which one comes out on top, right? These are both Heaven Hill products, barrel proof products of two of their highly sought after mash bills, their wheated mash bill and their rye uh, grain bourbon. And last year, I do believe that the Larceny came out on top in that head to head. And for this bottle to be a little bit more expensive than this one, this was I think $79 out the door. This one I think was like 70 out the door with taxes and everything. And uh, you know, I think that this might be another larceny uh, runaway, but hey, only that head to head will tell us what the truth is in this um, Heaven Hill uh, lineup that we've got for the A batches. But there we go. Those were the three bottles that we acquired um, out there bourbon hunting today. And uh, it was a fun day. We saw some really nice bottles. Again, you saw Pappies out there for astronomical amounts of money. You saw the B Tax out there for ast astronomical amounts of money. They had an old Fitzgerald. They had, uh, they just had a lot of bottles out there that um, if you got fat pockets, um, you could possibly buy. But me, myself, I can't do that. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, this has been Nathan with the Everyday Drinker. Cheers.